the circadian rhythm is the system in the human brain that dictates our waking and sleeping patterns. The physical location of this order is the suprachiasmatic nucleus or SCN, which is a part of the hypothalamus. The SCN works closely with the pineal gland by sending a signal to produce melatonin, the hormone linked, linked to sleepiness, when there's no light perceived. In other words, a part of the hypothalamus called the SCN is a clock influenced by light reception. We live lives based on days consisting of 24 hours. Hence, our circadian rhythm has evolved to be a 24-hour cycle. However, there exists a condition called non-24-hour sleep-wake disorder, where an individual's circadian rhythm is not based on 24 hours. It's recognized by a constant shift in the sleeping pattern where the affected individual wakes up a little later every day. The disorder can seriously affect one's life by resulting in an incompatible lifestyle compared to society or in constant sleepiness. Two functions of the nervous system can be impaired in an individual affected by this condition. Firstly, since the perceived light mostly regulates the circadian rhythm, a visual disability where light cannot be perceived, non-functioning retinas, or broken optic nerves, for example, results in this condition. Hence, this disorder is mainly present in blind individuals. Secondly, a malfunction of the suprachiasmatic nucleus, the part of the hypothalamus responsible for controlling the circadian rhythm, can result in this disease. For instance, there's a reported case of a sighted woman who developed a non-24-hour sleep-wake disorder after an end injury in an accident. A laboratory investigation proved that she was sensitive to bright light, usually responsible for the circadian rhythm synchronization. All in all, non-24-hour sleep disorder can be caused by an impossibility to perceive light, since it's not possible to differentiate day from night visually, or by an abnormal functioning SCN. Finally, the course Understanding the Brain, the Neurobiology of Every Day, has greatly allowed me to better analyze human events of my everyday life. Mainly, it sparked a curiosity of human behaviors in me that led me to be more attentive to details and seek further information. For instance, the module of the course on sleep mechanism increased my interest on the subject. Thus, through my research on circadian disorders, I understood tricks to modulate my sleep pattern. For example, being exposed to strong light in the morning when my sleep habits are shifted. Moreover, the course helped me to understand concepts I was aware of but did not quite understand. Notably, the complex functioning of the vestibular system helped me explain the nausea I feel while in a boat or in a car. Altogether, Peggy Mason's course has taught me immensely on the functioning of the human brain and help develop the awareness of the phenomena around me.